Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. In this question here, question number four, this is uh, from the October 2021 Pure Ma Mathematics P3 International A Level Edexcel exam. And this is question four that I'm answering right now on trig identities and equations. It says, show that the equation 2 sine theta minus 30 degrees equals 5 cosine theta can be written in the form tan theta equals 2 root 3. So for this um, question, it seems like we need to use the identities for um, what I call the compound angle formulae, or sometimes known as addition formulae. And we need the one for sine th for the, for the sine the um, sine angle. So we've got sine a plus or minus b is identical to sine a cosine b plus or minus cosine a sine b. So over here, seems like if we compare it to what we got, the theta is in place of the a. The 30 degrees is in place of the B, and we have a minus between them. So we're going to use the formula with a minus here, and we'll just rewrite this. So we're going to have, let's start off with 2 sine. We've got theta minus 30 degrees is equal to 5 cosine theta. So on this side of the equation, we're going to write 2 times sine, or 2 times sine of theta minus, or cosine cosine of 30 minus the cosine of theta times the sine of 30 and that's equal to 5 cosine theta so if you expand this you're going to get 2 sine um, theta cosine 30 in fact what I'll do first oops what I'll do first is I'll just write down what this is equal to. Cosine theta is root 3 over 2. This is root 3 over 2 times sine theta minus, and sine theta is a half. So there'll be a half times cosine theta, and that's equal to 5 cosine theta. Now we can multiply by 2, um, both these terms, expand this bracket. Basically the 2's here will cancel out, because it's divided by 2. So you'll be left with root 3 sine theta minus cosine theta equals 5 cosine theta and we can add cosine theta to both sides so have root 3 sine theta equals 6 cosine theta and now I know that's that tan theta I know the identity tan theta is sine theta divided by cosine theta so if I divide both sides by cosine theta I'll be left with root 3 times tan theta equals 6 dividing both sides by cosine theta. All right, so now we can say tan theta is equal to 6 over root 3. Now, this will give you 2 root 3. Even if you stick in your calculator, you'll see that, but you can just show how it, how it works by rationalizing the, the denominator, multiplying both top and bottom by root 3, so you end up with tan theta is equal to 6 root 3 over 3, and you know that that's equal to 2 root 3 as required. 2 root 3. And that's what we had to show. And that's what we've shown. Okay, so there's the answer to part A. Now, going, going on to part B. It says, hence or otherwise, solve for x between 0 and 360. The equation sine x minus 10 equals 5 cosine x plus 20. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to see the similarity between these two things. Okay, this is from part A. So, 2 sine theta minus 30 equals 5 cosine theta. All right, so this is kind of like the same thing, except you can say x plus 20 is the same as our theta. Okay, and you can see that this angle is 20 less than that angle, and this angle is 20 less than that angle. Sorry, 30 less than that angle. And this is 30 less than the angle. This is cosine theta, and this is theta minus 30. This is x plus 20, and this is x minus 10. This angle is 30 degrees less than the angle. So these two are very similar things. If I, if I, if I find what theta is, okay, if tan theta equals two, 2 times theta plus 3, it's like solving the equation tan x plus 20 equals 2 root 3. Because theta and x plus 20 are you know in the same place so it's like solving this equation if i solve this equation 
I solve this equation, all I have to do then is take away 20 from my answer. So what I can do is I can proceed like this if I want to. I'll just replace the theta with x plus 20 and then solve. So now, <coughs> because we can see that theta is equal to x plus 20, this theta is the same as that. Okay, now, if I solve this equation, so I'll say x plus 20, and I can see the limits are between 0 and 360, just in case I will change the limits to 0 plus 20, which is going to be 20. That will be x plus 20, and that will be 380. Add 20 to all, all of them, in case I'm outside of the range in anything, which doesn't look like it will be, but let's see. So x plus 20 is the inverse tan of 2 root 3. So let's see what that, that gives us. So we're going to have inverse tan of 2 times the square root of 3. And that gives us 73.897. It goes on. So that's um, 73.897 dot dot dot. And then in the range between 0 and between 20 and 380, that's in our range. It's okay. And we can think of another angle. If we add 180 to this because it's tangent, that will give us the other angle which shares the same tan ratio, which is 253.897. 253.897. It continues on. Now, the next angle is another 180 away from this. Of course, it's going to be outside of the range. It's going to be more than 380. Okay. And if I take away 360 from this, uh, sorry, 180 from this, of course, it will be less than 20. So we have basically um, found all the angles. So I know that x plus 20 is equal to these two angles, 73.897 and 253.897. Therefore, x is, to find x, I've got to subtract 20 from these. This is going to be 53.897. And this is going to be 233.897. So x is going to be 53.9 to one decimal place and 233.9. Round to, two decimal, to one decimal place as required in the question. And there we have answer part B. And we've completed this question, which is question number four from the October 2021 um, paper, P3. Um, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area. Other paper, other questions from the topic of trigonometry and trig identities from P3 can be found in this area over here. And the playlist that should appear there. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And um, thank you for watching and see you soon.